Yo, what's up guys and welcome in another Track Day R video. Today I've got another physics update for you boys. There is also been some work done on the transmission as well, so we're gonna check that out. And also, in addition, there has also been more work done on the sand track, Hell of Sand, uh, regarding the physics as well as the handling. So without further ado boys, let's jump in and let's test it out. So here we are on Hell of Sand, very first laps, and I can already tell you that the feeling that we've got in the previous video, which I'm gonna link down in the description, has improved even further, because uh, in the first version of this uh, track, we should replicate like the uh, deep, deep European sand tracks. Uh, we didn't have much roller resistance, which was the thing that was implemented, which was good. And we felt that immediately, but right now he, he improved it even more. So now when you release the throttle, the terrain actually holds you even more. So you have that feeling of deep sand and also the transmission seems to work better right now. And we, oh, as you can see, we have some stepping out of the rear tire, which is good when we cross rod and stuff. So that's a very welcome addition. So he hasn't worked on traction, he just worked on transmission now. I don't know too much in the details what work has been done, so I can provide better feedback without uh, knowing, you know, because sometimes if he tells you what he has worked on, you're gonna hyper focus on that thing and you won't really see the other stuff that's maybe not right. So, so far it's feeling amazing, it's really giving me the deep sand feel and I'm actually really really enjoying the fact that it should take some skill to actually go fast on this track where is as in the first version you could chill and pretty much just hammer down laps without struggling too much so that's very very good I can also feel the front end a little bit more precise than previous build which is nice as well we've got to a good point with the front end right now it feels very very good very planted it's not really reacting in any unpredictable way and I would like to have a little bit more um, difficulty on the front end especially maybe under braking like braking management uh, we don't really have the front end that knives right now in the corners if you lay down too much or if you enter too aggressive Hopefully in the future is something that we will work on and add it to the games to add a little bit more of uh, difficulty to the game, a little bit more to create a little bit more skill gap. But so far it's feeling very very good. I should also talk about the uh, work that has been done on the suspension front and rear. As you guys can see, the bike still has a very good weight feeling, but it's not very bouncy like it used to be, especially in the front end which is very very nice. I'm actually really really enjoying this track right now. It's feeling uh, like I'm riding in Lommel in the summer, <laughs> which is something to be honest I would never do in my life, even if you paid me all the money in the world, but so far I'm actually really really enjoying myself and I hope you guys are enjoying the video as well. Let me know in the comments on what you think about these latest updates. As always I will leave the uh, change log in the description so you guys can check out what work has been done. And this is not going to be a very long video, I don't want to keep you guys busy for too long, just wanted to quickly show you... Oh, as you can see there as well, the rear just stepped out and Gallo told me that this is physics related, it's not something scripted that happens. Um, the physics of the bike actually are reacting to the terrain, it's not like we are riding on a layer and visual stuff happens and everything is just scripted, so that's very very... that's very very good very cool actually and I am, I am super super happy on how this track is riding right now this is going to be definitely one of the toughest tracks to learn how to go fast on as it should be in real life as well you know hopefully we can actually um, get a good difference between sand and very rough tracks like you know the French tracks where the terrain is almost like asphalt but super slippery if we can recreate that feeling as well this is going to be pretty much in my opinion one of the greatest games that there are out there so hopefully in the future uh, we will start to work on that as well but as of right now i am super super happy i am riding with e-road on i am riding in 4k res and i'm doing about 80 fps so 
I'm very pleased with the performance right now of the game as well. Hopefully my tracks will be <laughs> displayable in the future as well because I have been struggling a little bit with the uh, vegetation and to make the tracks look pretty but at the same time playable for everybody not just people with uh, supercomputers and stuff like that. It's gonna take me a long time because I've never modeled anything or modded anything before this game so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is all for today. I hope you had a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.